Hey, it's Les from the TV Dudes. This week, I was lucky enough to chat with Celeste Pechos about her role as Campbell on the Showtime series Work in Progress. Season 2 of the show begins June 22nd. It's a great show, and I was thrilled to talk with Celeste about maintaining a perfect balance of emotion and humor, how they found the trust to keep that tone, her favorite parts of the show, and what's next. It's a great interview, and I hope you enjoy. So much for making time. I really appreciate it. Much thank you for having me. This is awesome. Awesome to me. Uh, so I, I kind of knew that this. I mean, from the pedigree alone, I knew work in progress was going to be something worth watching. But my partner, who does not often text me nerding out about television and saying you you must watch this show, uh, just sent me texts of like, "There's this thing. I think it's on Showtime. You've got to watch this. It's amazing." Uh, and and so I. I was absolutely delighted when I sat down and watched it. And I, I think part of what amazed me about it is that I, I don't often like uh, my comedy to be quite so real uh, in moments. <laughs> um, I, melancholy yeah. hits me a little hard sometimes. And, um, and so I, I was really amazed how much I connected to it. Uh, even the parts that, uh, that were just heartbreaking. Uh, yeah. Can you talk a little bit about, uh, auditioning for the role, getting involved with the project, and then kind of getting both into your character, but also the the trust I feel it would take to know how you're handling this material and what kind of show you're making. Yeah, absolutely. First of all, thank you so much. And and I, it is such a special show. I I am really honored just to even have a have a part in it to to be a part of this beautiful story. Um, you know. What's funny is, so I, I've known Abby for 23 years. Um, I met her a long time ago at a party next to a keg. And um, <laughs> where all the best TV shows began. <laughs> and, um, you know, and this was even before I lived in Chicago. And um, I then about six months later, I ended up moving to Chicago and I was watching an improv show and Abby was performing. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's that's Abby. That's the girl I, I met at, by the keg. And um, since then, we have been, you know, she's one of my closest, dearest friends. We are very tight. Um, and, you know, um, so we've performed a lot, like improvised a lot together and all that good stuff. Tim Mason, who was um, the co-creator and uh, directed season one. Um, I met him in my very first improv class 22 years ago. So there's a lot of history here, but um, they called me when I, cause now I live in Los Angeles, but they called me a couple of years ago <clears throat> and they were like, Hey Celeste, we're doing this web series and we'd love for you to come out and do a couple scenes. I'm like, uh, Yeah. And so hopped on a flight, went there. I was there for less than 36 hours. And um, because honestly, I, I manage apartments and I was so afraid I had to let a plumber in on that Monday morning. I'm like, I have to be back Sunday. <laughs> so I went down and um, we shot what what ended up being in the pilot um, episode, the party scene and um, and the flashback to 1994. A couple months later, when um, they called me and they said, hey, you know, it, it, it's not feeling like a web series anymore. It's actually feeling like a pilot. So they ended up cutting it into a pilot, submitted it to Sundance. Showtime was in the audience. The rest is history. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, <laughs> you know, if I if I was like, oh, I can't I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to to make it down this weekend. But thank you for thinking of me. It's like, oh, my God, the I'm so glad I say yes. And I'm a, a strong believer in doing passion projects with people that you love. And, um, and this has changed my life. Um, I uh, wasn't able to see the, um, I wasn't able to attend Sundance, unfortunately, but, um, but Abby sent me the pilot and I was blown away, blown away by it. 
It was so raw, honest, beautiful. You, everyone can relate to it. Um, no matter, no matter who you are, it's, it's really a story about evolving through life. Um, so luckily I remained part of, part of that, um, pilot, uh, episode cast and continued on playing Campbell as Abby's, um, ride or die best buddy. And, you know, a lot of it, I'll tell you, it's, it's just so uh, the relationship, you know, Abby and Celeste have a very similar relationship to Abby and Campbell in, in the part of um, ride or die. Um, Campbell might be a little bit more uh, aggressive than, <laughs> than I am in real life. I, I mean, she's very, you know, uh, sweet and, and kind of a, uh, she's fun. She's a little, a little out of control, but, um, but, you know, and Campbell actually is really developing, um, like, as, as we'll see in, in season two, their friendship, um, it, it, it continues to grow and, and has, you know, worldly challenges that, that uh, all the characters in, the, in the, the show tend to approach and see how, see how we navigate our way through, through the world. But for me through season one, uh, it, it was it was great to see Campbell be this, that friend that will, that will tell you as you're moving into somebody or you're moving in with somebody, uh, Hey, uh, quick before they're back in the room. Um, well, they weren't even in the, in town for the move in day and that, but, but that's that friend that'll look at you and go, you're making a huge mistake. I'm still helping you move in, but you are, <laughs> you are making a huge mistake here. And, and there were several moments where Campbell is that, that brutally honest friend that that you you need sometimes that still loves you is sitting right there by you but also hey you're, you're screwing this up uh and there yeah. were moments where i was i was afraid in my first watch through that i was about to not like campbell uh oh. that, but because early on <laughs> I, I just i didn't i didn't know how how you know how much history do we have? is there really with this person are they that brutally honest friend or are they just that friend that's going to break you up with every person because they want somebody to be at the party with them. Uh, yeah. and, and I got it. I can think that there had to be moments, uh, even in the performances of thinking is, was this funny or was this mean? Was this both? Did this cross a line? Mm -hmm. Were there times in the performances, uh, where you, you felt like maybe your improv background, even though it's a scripted show, what were there, were there decisions that you made where you thought, no, this is not going to play. This is going to cross a line. I should back this off or I should roll this forward. Um, you know, um, I, I put my complete trust in the, in the writers and the directors and, and trusting that it gives and brings some type of value to the story. Um, so I'm going to try to bring that justice and, and do it with an honest, genuine approach. However, for sure, like there are times where I'm like, oh man, like, like I'll, I'll, I'll pitch a line. I'd be like, do you think maybe like, I don't know if Campbell would say this or something, you know? Um, and, and what's really great about working on the set of work in progress is it's such a collaborative um, crew and cast and everyone really works together well. And the directors are very open. Also knowing that Abby and I come from a, a strong improv background um, that they're, that they also trust me. And as Campbell develops, I like even for season two, um, there was a, a couple things where I'm like, you know, I, I'm not sure if, if Campbell would react this way unless there was something else here that's motivating that um, reaction. And so we were able to shift some things. I gave a couple, you know, ideas or thoughts that I had and, and also explained my reasoning for it and was totally OK if if, um, you know, we were going to continue with the same direction we did. And most of the time we get to try both takes. Um, also the editing team is incredible. I kind of feel bad for them because Abby and I, <laughs> it's hard, tough to get through a scene without like <laughs> losing it. Um, but uh, we have a lot of fun, but um, yeah. So, so I, in season one, there wasn't really anything that I was, too concerned about. I know at the beginning, um, I thought Campbell was a little bit more blunt and, and aggressive, but it's like, well, that's her relationship with Abby, you know? And, and I think, I think Abby needs somebody like Campbell 
that's going to be there th- through thick and thin. And just as Campbell needs somebody like Abby, mm-hmm. you know, they're so, yeah. Yeah. The, I, I mean, I think about most people I, I don't think have more than one friend who would burst in on them uh, when they're holed up in a dark room and, and yell at them at 3 PM to get up and, and <laughs> no, and get up. Uh, and, and at the same time in the, in the bar scene, uh, I think Abby's uh, I'm single breakup you can really see the love on on Campbell's face and the the care for this this person. Uh, did you have a, a favorite kind of sweet Campbell moment across season one where you read the script and thought, "I'm going to love to get to play that"? Yeah, um, I really loved the scene, uh, the wedding, um, where at Abby's father's wedding, um, where Abby is coming out and having a smoke, where she tells me about um seeing their dead name yes Uh, and we're sitting in the parking lot and and to me that that was you know i I feel during that moment my acting leveled up because abby was so present in that scene and it was it's probably one of my favorite scenes um in in season one uh there, there's a lot of fun ones but like that one definitely rings a bell when when i think about something that's being pulled out um and, and what i'm thinking about the other one of course too is that one that you said well the hospital one where i'm kind of <laughs> <I can't, laughs> you know that. when you said trying to hold it together in the room i thought of that scene because i cannot imagine oh. keeping it together during all of that we had some ridiculous bits going on and um, yeah, <laughs> um, our driving scenes are always really fun too. And we have a lot of those in season two. So that's very exciting for the both of us. But um, yeah, I think those, those couple of scenes in that last scene where Abby is going crazy, I, I, I do, I agree with you. I think that's when Campbell knows the depth of, of uh, Abby's history, knows she's going into a spiral and, is a little helpless at that moment. Yeah. You know? the, the scene on the curb was, was definitely a moment where I, I felt like Campbell's character deepened for me because I, I knew from previous scenes that this character doesn't necessarily personally agree with not getting to know uh, how to research Chris's past. Right. Uh, and, and finds it personally, it may find it not as serious. Uh, but at the same time recognizes how serious it is to Chris and to Abby and Chris's relationship and immediately is like, well, I mean, you have to tell them. And, and I was very happy that, that, that Campbell, I felt like Campbell was quick on the, no, I mean, you, you, you screwed that up. You, you have to tell them. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I mean, gosh, I, I really do hope that we all have someone. I know my sister is that way for me. I have a, I'm, um, I have a, tight knit group of buddies that, that would be honest with me. And, and, you know, and I would probably do what they said because I sometimes trust other people more than myself when it comes to situations like that. But, um, but I mean, if you love somebody, you have to, and they're Brit, like Abby was breaking, Mm -hmm. killing herself during that, that time, you know, like, and so it's like, you need to fix this right now, you know? And, I don't know. I, I feel that I've I've been there for in in my own life um, a, a few situations. I mean, I I don't know if I I think differently than Campbell. I I tend to listen a little bit more to really kind of see what the outcome is with different approaches and stuff. But you know, yeah. it'd be nice to take a Campbell approach. <laughs> uh, I think my the the wedding had probably my favorite funny. Campbell moment across the whole thing. I, I I can't figure out if if Campbell's actually trolling Jags with the <laughs> Phil Collins songs or if she really does. Either way, I'm on board. <laughs> but I thought I would, I, mean, I would if I had a friend who had a band that only covered one person's songs. I think I would do that to them continually. Just pick one well, artist and get it wrong the whole time. 
that that scene was so funny and we shot that scene over a period of three nights like i mean that you know lunch was at 4 a.m type of deal and and um but that uh, the guy who plays jags is a, a very good buddy of mine um paul grandi he was actually one of my um improv teachers early uh decades ago and um he is so funny and so sweet and and jab jab jabbing at him like that was a joy a complete and utter joy so campbell loves jags but rolls her eyes and sees how far she can get away with things Mm -hmm. when it comes to messing around with jags and it is it is a joy the look on his (laughs) face uh when you guess his tattoo is just amazing absolutely flawless i think everybody (laughs) should watch the show uh i I can't wait to see uh y'all just finished shooting or we did last week yeah we just wrapped um uh yeah about a week and a half ago that's great that's great thank you can't wait to see uh what comes next i again i was stunned by season one um just thrilled to get to talk to you today thank you so much i really appreciate your time thank you TV Dudes is an independently run podcast out of Austin, Texas. We are exclusively listener supported. If you'd like to help us out, go to patreon.com slash TV Dudes. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at TV Dudes. All the music for our show is done by our friend and original TV dude, Gregory J. Amani Smith. To find out more about us, go to the TV Dudes.com. I'm Randy Lander. I'm Les Weiler. And I'm Kyle Scott. Thanks for listening.